Good morning, my kiddos. Good morning, my loves. Miss Nell is so excited that you are here today because this is our first book in our wonderful series, our Once Upon a True Story series. And what Miss Nell means by that is that once upon a time, there was someone who dreamed the impossible and made their dreams come true. And we're going to learn about a lot of fantastic, super amazing people throughout history that we may have never heard of before or we may have heard of but not know much about. So we are going to read in our most amazing Once Upon a True Story series today. <clears throat> Ms. Mel wanted to share with you the first selection, Shark Lady. Now, these books have been such an inspiration for me. This past year, the juvenile picture books have been coming out in slews, and they're just absolutely amazing, and they inspired me to learn more about so many amazing people throughout history and to share this wonderfulness with all of you. So today we have in our series our first pick, Shark Lady. Now we're gonna learn in this book today, Eugenie Clark, who is a phenomenal female scientist, the first female science shark scientist ever. And she worked with sharks. She got to understand them a little bit more. Sharks used to be seen as monsters of the sea. And Eugenie said, you know what? No, they're not. Let me learn more about them. And when I learn more about the things I'm afraid of, they make me understand them a little bit more and I have a greater appreciation for them. And she certainly did. <clears throat> she got to know about all different kinds of sharks. There's so many amazing sharks out there in her sea kingdom. And she made her dreams as a little girl come true. She dreamed one day she would be a female shark scientist, and sure enough, she worked hard enough and made that dream come true. So let's read in our Once Upon a True Story series today, Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless shark scientist. Now, it's written by Jess Keating and illustrated by Maria Alvarez Miguez. So let's start our wonderful series, and I have to tell you, this book starts off with all the amazing sharks and sea creatures that were a lot of her favorites. So if you get this book from our library or you read it on Hoopla or Overdrive today, you'll see a lot of those. Let's start. Let's see how she made her dreams come true in Once Upon a True Story. It was Saturday and Eugenia wanted to stay at the aquarium forever. We love the aquarium. She wanted to smell the damp, salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow of fishes. <gasps> she wanted to keep watching her favorite animals, the sharks. Whoa, she loved sharks as a little girl. That was amazing. Eugenia pretended she was walking on the bottom of the sea. What would it be like to swim with the sharks? To breathe underwater with gills of our very, very own? More than anything, she wanted to find out what that felt like. Here she is in the aquarium. Boop, boop, boop. She's pretending she's swimming. <clears throat> oh, her favorite place was the beach. When the summer came, Eugenie's mother took her to swim at the beach in Atlantic City. No, <clears throat> stuffing sticky gum into her ears to make sure the water wouldn't get in her ears, she went, down, 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 deep, deep down in the deep blue sea. And the salt stung her eyes, but she didn't want to miss a single fish. Constellations of sea stars speckled the pebble sand. She imagined a silvery fin standing strong on her back, slicing through the ocean currents like a shark. Yeah, look at that. To other sharks were ugly and scary. They were known as monsters of the sea to a lot of people. But Eugenie in her heart knew that they were beautiful. And as she glided through the cool water, she wished everyone would see sharks through her eyes. And but the sharks were only in her mind for now. Eugenie decided to learn everything she could about them and teach everyone she could about sharks to make them seem like not monsters anymore. So she dove. And she read every book she could about sharks. Whale sharks, nurse sharks, bull sharks, tiger sharks. There are so many different types of sharks. And she also joined the Queens County Aquarium Society as the youngest member 
of their aquarium society to learn more about the ocean. Eugenie's notebooks filled with sharks. She drew sharks all the time. She drew different facts about sharks she found in books. At home, Eugenie's mother surprised her with an aquarium of her very own. What? There's some clownfish in there and some all different kinds of guppies and oral red snails, coral red snails. Oh my goodness. A 15 gallon tank was too much small for sharks, but Eugenia saved her allowance to buy a bigger tank because she wanted to study wonderful fish and their life in the water. It felt as big as an ocean in her room and their small apartment became an aquarium, a laboratory and a sanctuary for many amazing sea creatures. <clears throat> now, as she grew older, <clears throat> Many were telling Eugenia what to do, and she didn't like that. Forget about fish sharks, be something else. Eugenia wanted to study zoology, but some of her professors thought women couldn't do that and be a scientist or have enough to explore the oceans. And they said sharks were monsters of the sea or mindless creatures, and Eugenia knew better. Her dream was as big as a whale shark. A whale shark's one of the biggest sharks in the ocean. So again, Eugenia dove, and she didn't let anyone tell her that she couldn't reach her dreams. So she plunged into every course she could. She read every book she could, and her laboratory became her home. And from sunrise to sunset, she studied, studied how fish grew, how they behave, how they interacted with one another. <clears throat> and despite all the people who told Eugenia she couldn't do it, she said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for my dreams and I'm going to reach those dreams with enough hard work and determination. She was one of the smartest students in her field, in her school, and she earned and carried a degree many still doubted her. But Eugenia's world and work was just beginning. Eager to make discoveries of her own, Eugenie finally dove into the open ocean. She got her school gear on <clears throat> and she dove into that ocean. In the Red Sea, Eugenia collected all kinds of hundreds of fish, including three new species that she had never discovered before. Oh my goodness, that looks like an eel, a couple of eels, and another fish. On a research mission exploring the Palau Islands, Eugenie was diving alone when she encountered her first wild shark. Whoa, that seems a hundred times bigger than she is, but she didn't get afraid. She wasn't afraid. Instead, she thought it was beautiful. Wow. <clears throat> How much courage did she have? Now, in Isla Mrejes, she dispelled the myth that sharks must keep moving to stay alive. When she swam through the dark caves, some sharks were still silent and sleeping in little pods together. Wow. <clears throat> Eugenia, daring heart, grew bolder with each dive. So every time she dove into the ocean, she became bolder and more courageous. She faced her fear each and every time to make her fear less each and every time. And she became known as the Shark Lady. Eugenia had proven that she was smart enough to be a scientist and brave enough to explore the many amazing oceans. Now, as her courage grew, she began to love and understand these wonderful, amazing sharks. But she never forgot, many still believed that sharks were not so great. And because of their scary features, humans were hunting sharks and thinking that they weren't able to stay alive and be well. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Good for her. Eugenia fished through her mind to devise a brilliant experiment. What if she could train sharks? <clears throat> like a dog. What if sharks were smarter than every anyone knew? What if she could teach them tricks and they could learn it? That's amazing. And they were. Eugenia was the first scientist in the entire world to train sharks and even learn that they could remember what they learned. So sharks were not mindless creatures. They were very, very intuitive and very, very smart. And she proved that to the world. She was the first scientist to do that. Sharks were not mindless creatures. They were beautiful. 
Sharks were smart. They deserved to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugenie's dream was now a dream come true. She dreamed her dream, my loves, and with enough hard work and determination, one day she made that dream come true in our Once Upon a True Story. Now, if you get this book out at Hoopla or Overdrive, <clears throat> we even have this book located in our library for curbside pickup, you can check out any of those features. And in the back of the book, she gives shark bites, which is amazing because there's all different facts that help you understand sharks a little bit more and help you discover sharks as being beautiful creatures and not as scary as we think. Uh, about their teeth, about not being too dangerous, about sleeping tightly together in pods and school of fish, um, about cool facts about their skin and other things. I don't want to ruin the surprise for you because I want you to be able to check it out. And also in the book is a timeline, very much like we discussed about Eugene Clark's life today, about the series in time of how she learned from becoming, when she was a little girl, to becoming, going to school and becoming the wonderfulness of her dreams, which she dreamed about in her Once Upon a True Story, she dreamed about becoming a shark scientist one day, and she did. That's amazing. And that was Shark Lady by Jess Keating and illustrations by Marta Alvarez Miguel. And Miss Mel's going to show you another cool hmm, series in Hoopla and Overdrive, along with Curbside Pickup, our amazing Curbside Pickup, which is available at marblepublibrary.org. You can check that out, fill out the form, and give you all the details on how to do Curbside Pickup, because we have so many amazing books about sharks in our library. We have books about bull sharks and tiger sharks and whale sharks and hump. Oh, my goodness. They're amazing. And Miss Mel puts them out every year for Shark Week, which we is a wonderful week to learn about sharks as well. But in our Hoopla series, when you go into Hoopla with your library card, you can get a read-along. And sometimes the books come in different formats on Hoopla and Overdrive. They come in audiobooks, which we can listen to the story. They come in read-alongs, where we can listen to the story, and it's a movie. But also, it has subtitles at the bottom that we can read along with the movie. And that is really cool. It gives us another way of experiencing the book. So you know what? Miss Mel's going to play a little bit for you. And this is the read-along. She wanted to smell the damp. And this is the read-along I got on Hoopla. It's really cool. Bubbles! <laughs> I get excited over that one. The true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. By Jess Keating. Oh, we'll hear Illustrated. It. We'll hear a little by bit. Marta Alvarez Miguel. Whoa. It was Saturday, and Eugenie wanted to stay at the aquarium for Is that cool or what? I it's a wonderful read-along and movie, so it shows you the subtitles and they highlight in green as you're reading it along with your parents. So my loves, I hope you enjoy this amazing series that we are gonna continue, not next week, but it's every other week. And in our Facebook Live feed today, Ms. Mel's put some awesome links to find out more about Eugenie Clark as well. The Smithsonian link, the first one you have is from the Smithsonian. And that gives you some pictures of real live pictures of Eugenie Clark when she was studying sharks and when she was in school and when she was out in the ocean. So take a look at some of those awesome pictures and it also gives you some more information about Eugenie Clark. And you can find out more from the Smithsonian about some other amazing female scientists. So I'm gonna leave that with you so you can explore my explorers. And we also, Ms. Mel also put another link in there because on YouTube, National Geographic has a phenomenal link on National Geographic series, National Geographic Kids from YouTube. And they have, Ms. Mel put a link up there in our Facebook live feed today, all about sharks. They have, do it's part of their Do You Wanna Know series all about sharks. So they take you on an exploration about sharks with all different cool facts from the National Geographic Kids YouTube series. So enjoy my loves. 
And next time, not next week, but the week after, we are going to talk about another famous individual throughout history that you may have never heard of, or you may have heard of, but not know too much about in our Once Upon a True Story series. All right, my loves, we'll see you tomorrow for story time. Tune in. We have gardening and flowers week this week, and Miss Mel has an extra special video for you of her garden. So I am hoping you tune in, and I get to see you tomorrow, my loves. I miss you all so much. Mwah. Hello, Michael. I see you say hi with your mama bear. Hello, Michael. I miss you so much too, my love. And we'll see each other soon. Have a great week, my loves. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.